down to um, here, rotation, and then you can see there is an orientation constraint here. Go further down and press on keep initial offset. So now it's looking at those data and it's actually just adding that. So if we go back here in the scene now and we are moving this body down, you can see that it keeps on the ground, it stays on the ground. So what now if we move this uh, IK pole, the rectangle stays where it is. We actually kind of want to uh, move that um, rectangle with it. So we could add a position constraint uh, to the rectangle, or we could constrain the rectangle to the IK pole. Uh, but actually, maybe we do. We just wanted the IK pole to be constrained by the rectangle. So go to animation, constraints, position constraint, and choose the rectangle. So now, when we move the rectangle, the IK goal moves, which gets the whole leg to move. And if we rotate it, the foot rotates. So this is probably what you want uh, for setup. Uh, we could uh, do this on the other foot, but I will just show you another way to do this. So if we take the two uh, IK goals plus this rectangle and delete it and make sure we have no orientation constraint on this. That was just selecting the foot, going in here in the motion panel and selecting it and pushing it lead. Um, and then we don't want any linking of the thigh, shins and feet and then go to here break links so now we have this set up again where it's not linked it's only the upper thing here that is linked what share that out okay so another way to set this up would be with bones so go into the um, create panel under systems, create, uh, click on bones, go to the front view by pressing F, then we want um, the bones to snap on the object's pivots, so go up here to the snap tool and right click it and make sure that it's only pivot that is uh, selected here in so just close it up again and make it active. Then in this front view we can choose the pivot up here, uh, this legs pivot, and then the shin pivot, and then the foot pivot. And then just right click it to end uh, this um, bone. So Let's go into the perspective view again by pressing P. And here you can actually see that it's the wrong shin that we selected. So we will just redo this. Maybe actually we will do this in the side view uh, by pressing left or L for left. So again, bones snap and then make sure it's the um, it's only that you keep it uh, to one side and first the thigh and then the shin and then the foot and right click and we want to set it up on the other side too so thigh shin and foot right click so We just want to hide the geometry for now, so go into uh, this panel and hide the, geom the geometry. We want to uh, add the IK solvers now, so just select the upper thigh and animation, 
IK solvers, HI solver, and select the last bone. And we probably just want to take this off just for safety. This snap. And then go to the other leg and go to animation, IK solvers, HI solver, and select the last bone. So now there are set IK solvers for both of uh, these bone legs here. Now we want to show the geometry in. And then we want to link the thigh to the thigh bone and the shin to the shin bone and also on the other leg. So select the select and link tool and link the, the left thigh to the bone and the right thigh to the right bone here and just do it like that. So now we can see that when we move this IK goal that is actually just set up for the bones the geometry moves as well. Um, you can actually also see that even though we move the pivot of, for example, the geometry thigh, this should still work even though the pivot is wrong because it's actually the bones that are controlling uh, where they are rotating from. So it still works even though the, uh, the pivot point is set all wrong for this geometry right uh, leg. So just make that right again. And now you can see that the foot is not on. So now for the foot, um, we can start just linking the foot to the IK goal, both sides here. And now we can see that when we move this IK goal, the foot is going with it, and we don't have that orientation problem that we had before. So in that way, this is uh, a lot faster. Um, but you can see that if we take this um, so long that the leg cannot reach the foot, the foot will not stop. So on this, you actually want this to go with the um, IK goal, you can 